Exactly. This... Yes, I am. Okay, cool. All right, and you're free to do whatever you want. Okay, so go ahead. Oh, okay, cool. Nice. I think already that's a little bit better. <laughs>、Lake. So that must mean time for another episode of Debunk the Junk. You guys know this well already. This is where we look at a few、um, self-defense techniques, mainly women's self-defense techniques, because we know statistically that women are assaulted a lot more than men are in the U.S. and probably even globally. The steps are: we usually go ahead, take a couple videos that we see online, some good, some bad, a lot bad. We'll、uh, show them to you. We'll execute those techniques the way they're shown. Then step two, we、uh, take our takes on it. Step three, we'll pressure test with、uh, my man Sifu Gus the SOV that we'll bring out in a minute.、And、then we go from there, do a little debrief, and then we wrap it on up. So、yeah. Sifu Gus, let them know what's up, man.、How's、so yeah,、uh, if you're gonna do self defense, you gotta know what works, and you gotta also know, you gotta also practice it. You can't watch a video and go, okay, I can do that. Next time it happens, you gotta practice it. You gotta practice it. And the best thing to do, I hate to say it, is get a qualified instructor. Yes, sir. Key. Qualified instructor. <laughs> <laughs> qualified. Yes. YouTube video is not a qualified instructor. Yes. Don't let YouTube be your your measure. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Please exactly. don't. Exactly. <laughs> Because it can end really bad、uh, if you are just looking at YouTube and go, oh, I got that. I got that. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. All right, so we're gonna get started today. We got a, a great technique. We're gonna introduce everybody here that's gonna help us out. So let's get things rolling. All right, so we're back. We're ready for the first technique.、Um, first of all, let me introduce everybody. We've got、uh, my friend and、uh, martial artist Stephanie's here with us. <laughs> SOV Luis, son of the village. Of course,、uh, you know Sifu Gus already. So we're gonna l- look at、uh, the first technique. It's from the、um, video. It's called Women's Self Defense Bear Hug Defenses. Shocker.、Um, McKenna Smith. It's under her、um, her YouTube page. I'll leave the link down below so you can check out the actual technique for yourself. But we're first、uh, first things first. We're going to do the technique just like it's done in the video, or as close as possible, and then from there we'll move on. All right. So let's get set. Here's the first one. Bear hug from behind. Making sure you grab a finger, and you can you can scratch and claw as much as you need to, but grab that finger. This finger, the pointer finger, or your middle finger is your best bet. Cause that'll hurt, as you can tell by his reaction. All right, so whichever finger you grab, whichever side you want to grab, I would get that position, and he's gonna react. And I grab the elbow so that you have the control, and just turn that way. Bear hug. Okay. Okay. Cool. All right. So now we're gonna do it one more time. Okay. Now before we go,、uh, let's address the fact that Stephanie is also a black belt in Krav Maga. So just know, like her responses and everything, her feedbacks coming from a knowledgeable place. It's not just Joe Schmo off the street. But we do want to pressure test these using an actual woman because it's only fair. It's women's self-defense. Okay. So、uh, Luis is going to go ahead, and SOB is going to come in and do it this way. But this time, Stephanie. Do it in a way that's more practical for you, or how you'd actually get out of this if someone were trying to. Okay. To to not、um, do it their way. Yeah, exactly. Are this. You yes, I am. Fuck you! Okay, cool. All right, and you're free to do whatever you want. Okay, so go ahead. Oh, okay, cool. Nice. I think already that's a little bit better. <laughs> All, right, All right, so, so go ahead for it again. Same thing. However you want to get out. All right, cool. Okay, cool. So let's break this down just a little bit while you're here. When you were doing it the way that it was done in the video, what's your take on why what works, what doesn't work? Is there anything that works? Kind of just some feedback from you.、Um, well, for one.、Uh I really like the soft approach here, but unless it's that unwanted hug, I don't think it's really practical for me to try to find that finger. Don't concentrate on the finger.、Um, <laughs> I actually want to kind of try it with a more aggressive, like if you're taking, yeah, like okay, okay, yeah, go for it. Okay. Yeah, go for it. Yeah, like, like, yeah. Like, yeah add resistance、around. to it. Yeah. 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 Go ahead and grab me. Yeah, I got his finger. I hit turn. I, I can get out.、Yeah. Yeah. Um, but you got to find it.、Um, right. Right. Fast, but he's lifting me. Right.、Uh, I can't do the spin. Right. And it doesn't prevent me from getting thrown. And the spin is my favorite part. Yeah. yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> the spin is amazing. But but yeah, to your point, it's like, yes. are you focused on that finger? Also, right. if he takes me to the ground, if I'm working the finger, I'm gonna go down, opposed to like if I get a chance to face my legs underneath me, uh, actually prevent that. Same way. Yes, you the way to the finger. Yeah. I mean, right? Yeah. Right. And I even already tried to base. Right. Do it again the other way. Okay. So as soon as I face, mm -hmm. which she doesn't do, that gives me the footage to now leverage to do something I want. If I'm standing here finding a finger, I'm gonna go to the ground. Exactly, exactly. Oh. Things, so I'm gonna try to address this. Okay, all right, so here's the more realistic thing for me. You come in with this uh, bear hug. First of all, you don't know who the hell it is, but say Gus is gonna give me, like for, probably first thing, he's not just giving me a hug if it's not someone I know, right? So what's the first thing you're probably gonna do, Gus, if you're doing this? Um, I'm gonna try to lift you up and slam you. Yeah, right. <laughs> So the fact that we're not addressing... I don't grab anyone like this. <laughs> First but you're of all, right. if, 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 if I've let someone grab me also like this, I'm already... I'm already right, you're already like done. That. But for some reason, I was that into whatever I was doing. So Gus comes from behind me. Just go ahead and lift me up. He lifts me up and then... Okay, but I'm trying to get a finger. I'm trying to get a finger. <laughs> it's probably not going to work. The panic reflex alone right. is going <laughs> to... It's going to be... Oh, oh, oh shit. I'm like uh, looking for stuff. So first thing I'm going to do, if I can, if you grab me and you're just trying to lift me, I'm going to either try to drop my weight a little bit to buy some time. Yeah. This makes it a little bit harder. If I want to go from here and try to get a finger first, but I'm probably going to at least do something violent to him. I got to at least either just a stomp a foot, hit a knee, hit some way, the way Stephanie almost did it too with the, with the elbow. That's great. Some kind of violent intent in the beginning to at least make him stop, you know, like right. doing what he's planning to do. And then from there, if I want to go ahead and address fingers and all that stuff, I can, it's an option. But for me, practically speaking, someone's coming from behind, I'm at least, especially someone bigger, I got to drop that weight a little bit, buys me maybe two or three seconds. Cause from here, he can probably still lift me. Go ahead and lift. You can still lift me, but uh, it's going to be a harder thing for him to do. Right. So that's just my take on that. So my thing is the same. I, I agree with you. Dropping your weight makes the difference. The problem with going up on your toes yep. is if you stay in this position, right, Louise? The problem is, is if I go up, especially if I get my knee directly under his pelvic, you're going to have a harder time doing almost anything before I slam you to the ground, right? So dropping the weight here, and I want you to grab me here now. So dropping the weight really makes the difference. Now, in this position, you have to attack. You cannot defend. If you're defending at this point, this person has the advantage. You've given them advantage, you're keeping the advantage on them. So if I move, if I go here and I step up and I hit them that way, right now, I mean, it depends on really what I want to do. <laughs> There's all kind of stuff here I can do, right? But I'm going to attack and I'm going to look at it from a more violent perspective. So he grabs, make sure I'm in here, make sure I'm in frame. Left leg's in front, right? And I'm gonna drop my weight. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna do a little acting here. Oh. Right? And now I'm in, I'm in the mood to attack. I'm gonna keep going. Now, everybody has a different, there's a thousand ways to do these kind of moves and some people are like, oh, that way doesn't work, that way works. I'm always looking at it as he's bigger than me. Right? Stronger. Faster. And what I have to do is when he when he grabs, yeah, here, right, stepping out, dropping my weight. Now it sets a path to the growing. Now the problem is he's now tucking his head in my back. I'm a bigger guy, so to elbow him is very hard to do. So I'm, I'm going to have to pick right the target, right. Now the way I may start this is to get his distraction. The way we look at it at the village is we're breaking him down. Break, break, now I'm attacking. Now I'm attacking. And it's just elbow, punch, 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 punch. And so that's kind of how we look at it. Um, but the reality at the end of the day is when someone grabs you, when, when, you're in, when you're in that mode and the brain, the adrenaline dumps start happening, one, breathe first. But two, then attack. You have to, go ahead and rest. You have to know that you're not going to defend this person and you're not gonna wrestle this person because believe it or not, he actually has the advantage, yep. right? And so that's the way I would look at it. Okay, so did this move. It's the bear hug from behind. And I know Stephanie, you wanted to talk a little bit about like uh, if someone's got you, if they're just trying to hug you, if they add the um, the actual pull up and all that. Um, so I think against a stationary, non-aggressive hugger, 
uh, it would work great. They're standing there, they're letting me do it. Uh, as soon as someone starts to pick me up or is taking me to the ground, you don't have a lot of time to grab for that. It's not a static attack. Um, you gotta either, as I was saying, uh, you know, base, get yourself in there, get your feet underneath you, or you're gonna go down. Um, also, if I'm being picked up and thrown, finding that finger, because they're moving and everything, seems a little bit tricky, yeah. trying to find the finger, uh, <laughs> and that's assuming that's even at a reachable spot, so. Um, but from the hugging stance, I think it works, um, but maybe not so much for a more aggressive uh, attacker. Yeah, and I think I think you hit on some stuff there. Um, Gus, anything else? Yeah, no, there's a, that's a fair feedback of that. I. I I agree. I, I think that realistically, if someone comes behind you and hugs you like this, it's probably a friend or a family member. <laughs> so you're probably not going to go on a full attack. So I think what you were saying is right. If it's an aggressive attack, then the things you did was actually right on. So in your opinion, would you give this technique the way it's on the video, a pass or a fail? Um, for a hugger, I'd give it a pass. I don't do, I don't do hugs. I'm not a hugger. I'm not a hugger. <laughs> um, She's nice. I'm sorry. Otherwise, though, I would, I, would, I would probably, at least for me, for my size, I'd probably say it's a fail. All right, my friends, so another episode debunking the junk with you. Always fun. <laughs> Got our boy SOV, Luis out here, son of the village. Stephanie, My friend man. Steph, yeah, she brought the pain. She Crom brought it. Yeah, yeah. little Krav Maga uh, awesome. flavor to this yeah. one, right? That's awesome. That really is good. Yeah, I, I liked everything we addressed. I like that we talked about, okay, here's one way, and I like that Stephanie said, well, you know, and, and coming from a female perspective, she's like, this is what works for her. Right, and I like that, and I think this actually those moves will work for a lot of people. Yeah, yeah, and that's the realistic part, guys. We really want to make sure that this is one of those things where, if we're showing you techniques, that it can actually be used. Whether you're, you know, a frame that's smaller, a frame that's bigger, a frame, you know, slender, tall, and you don't have to be a super athlete for these to work, or else it's a problem to begin with. So, <laughs> right, you should, those probably shouldn't be taught. Right. But keeping in mind that there is a lot of stuff out there online, and by the way, some people are not bashing them. People with a ton of followers that get a lot of views on some of these videos, and we don't want people to think that this stuff is necessarily the, the gospel truth. Oh my God, this is gonna work. You know, and I was like, and then you find yourself in that situation. Why did that work? Right, and that's not when you want to find out in the situation that <laughs> the technique doesn't work. That's literally the worst time to find out. <laughs> last time, yeah, last time you want to find out that it yeah. uh, didn't work. So, back to Gus's point though about training. If you guys uh, uh, are thinking about doing some training, you happen to be out here in Westlake Village, even if you're close enough, uh, I want you to give your information on how to train with you guys up here at the village. Yeah, you can contact us at uh, thevillagewithgusgates.com or gusgates.com. Send us an email, um, and then we'll get back to you. Yeah, absolutely, guys, because the training is so important. It's like we can do videos to we're blue in the face, and you can try to follow along, but uh, to your point, I think you brought this up before too, you have to learn what it's like to actually get hit, have the techniques worked on you, so it's not that initial shock of having someone if you've never been choked, and hopefully you haven't, you've never been choked, and it happens, you're gonna have that freeze moment in your brain, like what's happening, it's like the training gets you past that. It's like you get used to some of these things and you get used to the, the feel of someone trying to put violence on you. So that's why I really co-sign the fact that you should get a good instructor, look for a good instructor. But the reality um, is, especially for females, you guys have to know what it feels like to have a big body grab you or throw a punch at you or even hit you to know how to override those feelings. And and I, I, got, I would love to say, every you know, I get everybody, why well, go to the gym, I'm athletic. Yeah, that, that doesn't count, that doesn't count. Sorry, yeah. sorry guys, <laughs> sorry. It's so different. Right. So guys, do us a favor, go ahead and comment down below, let us know your thoughts, things you'd like to see in future videos. We'll definitely try to address those. Subscribe if you can down, let, uh, and then keep up with everything that we're doing on the channel coming up. Uh, you'll be up to date on all that stuff. Want to thank everybody again for being a part of the video, and um, you guys stay safe. See you all in the next round. Keep punching.